All I have to do is just... Were you laughing? Were you, were you laughing at me when I said it's gonna be quick and easy? That wasn't the time for the laugh track. Today is a workout side day. I just bought two pallets of retaining wall blocks and what I have to do, the only goal, the only thing I have to do today is unload them from that trailer to right here, right here, and in front of our flower bed, right over there. You see, Erica and I just sat down and we outlined all the outside projects we want to get done this spring. And the very first thing that we started with was beautifying the front yard. So what we plan to do is we plan to use all of these 72 pound <laughs> retaining wall blocks to line our two front flower beds and put an edge on the path that leads up to our house. It's springtime so the weather is perfect to do this and we're taking upon a lot of beautification projects around here for the exact same reason that so many people across the nation decide to make their properties look better. We're moving. I'll explain everything of why we're moving, where we're moving to, why we decided to move there, and what it's gonna mean for us. That's gonna, that's a story for another day. Today, I just have to get these things unloaded. Erica put in these flowers about a week ago, and then she put in the landscape fabric on top of them so we can put river rock over these flowers to protect them. Because two of our four-legged family members love to run in here and use this as a fighting pit. Looking at you guys. And this is the second area I'm gonna be putting in the retaining wall blocks. Right along in here to create another wall to hold more river rock for the same exact reason as the other flower bed. Still looking at you guys. And then finally, this is the walkway that leads up to our front door. This is gonna be one of the very first things that people see when they come up to check out the house. So we're gonna put a retaining wall right along on that black plastic and just give it a nice edge and then add some filter in there to extend the lawn and just make it look more pretty. So my part of the bargain was to get these guys and then move them to where they need to be installed. After I get that done, then Erica said she'll be happy to go ahead and put them in. Did I mention these are 72 pounds a piece made out of rough concrete? And I'm pretty sure concrete is the one material that loves to grab onto human skin more than anything else. But I've got a plan. I have a really good friend that I think will help me make short work of this. And no, it's not Benton. He's actually taking a nap right now. And <laughs> no, I'm sure when he wakes up, plans won't change and the entire day won't go to a completely different road or anything. But no, I'm going to just uh, take a minute or two and, and see if my friend's available. She's usually really, really happy to help out with things like this. Oh, nothing. Nothing's funny. I was just, uh, he had a really funny expression on him. I just, <laughs> yeah. Hi, baby. How's it going? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice shirt. <laughs> About it. I didn't realize uh, you didn't know this shirt existed. I didn't notice you had it on. Okay, I actually feel kind of bad. On the way over to go see if my friend was available, I got a phone call and I took it inside the house and ended up waking up the baby. So now Erica's inside with kiddo and I'm going to um, move all those stones. Well, the nice thing is that this is like every other day around here where plans last for about five minutes and then they completely change because she was gonna help me put in the uh, retaining wall blocks. Anyway, hey Jane, I've got some retaining wall blocks to move, like about 6,500 pounds of them. Feel like helping out? Yeah, I think that's in her wheelhouse. I 
I didn't know that they were gonna be outside. Oh, I've got spectators. The best spectator. I think he's trying to help. It's okay, big guy, I got this. Yeah, he's definitely trying to help. All right, now in theory, this should go by pretty quickly with Jane's help. All I have to do uh, is it's... Oh, sorry, it was laughter. Were you laughing? <laughs> were, you, were you laughing at me when I said it's gonna be quick and easy? That wasn't the time for the laugh track. You were laughing. <laughs> we'll, we'll get our timing better this time, try again. All I have to do <laughs> is move the retaining wall blocks into the bucket and then with the tractor, move the, move the blocks to where they have to go next. What are you doing? Giving you a soundtrack. A soundtrack. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. Are you not listening to the words? What is that? I like to move it, move it. <laughs> Come on. Are you, move it, move it, I'm moving. Are you trying to tell me something? She's playing move it, move it from, what is that, Madagascar? Oh, I've got one moved. Look at this. One of the most successful keys for explaining a narrative on film is to have a supportive and helpful crew around. Until that day, I've got these two. All right, load, move, dump, repeat. It's that easy. And to turn it up, to turn up the heat, to make sure this gets done quickly, Erica said if I finish within the next hour, that she's gonna have a splash table party and I'm invited. Yes. All right, I gotta get this done. Why, hello! You're just in time. No, whale hello there. Oh, whale hello. Whale hello there. Whale hello, big boy. Yeah, I love it. You're just in time for the last two blocks. Right on. It took uh, another full bucket and then a little bit more of another one. So, I think there's a joke in there about guys overestimating the size of their buckets. Or their load. Or the... <laughs> But I just can't quite get there. Hi, <laughs> Admittedly, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be, which is exactly how I like outside projects. All right, now, time to wrap this up, put away my dear friend, because I've got a date with a splash table.